Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Food Pal YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we have a very very special guest with us, Chef Mahesh Dakalji. He's the president and ambassador of Best of Gastronomy Nepal and he's one of the youngest culinary legend and first master chef from Nepal. It's an honor to have you on the show with us. Thank you for sparing some time to do this with us. Thank you for inviting me here. Thank you so much. Sir, so to begin with, uh, could you just talk about your life, about the purpose, your journey so far? Yeah, definitely. I'm Shrek Mahesh. Uh, currently, I'm working in Australia. But at the moment, everybody wants in a global pandemic, you stay in a home, there's a lockdown, you know, nothing to do. Yeah. So sharing knowledge like, with the fine students like that. Basically, personally, I'm from Gorkha, Nepal. I was born in Portland. And I finished my high school from Sri Jagannath from the village school. Then I moved to Kathmandu in 2001 for the higher education, plus two and plus one. Then when I first moved to the Kathmandu, when I came to the Kathmandu, over there, there was like a of clouds and there like no, so many people was around. There was some excited and some nervous as well because the first time I went to the Kathmandu. Were you all by yourself or uh, did you have relatives there? No. Uh, yeah, I had uh, my brother's sister was there, okay. but they came a few years before. Okay. But for me, as a myself, that was something new, you know. I I never been in a city until my school was finished. And I started my plus two level. Is, uh, I joined my plus two college in a Surakute, is a major mathematics, population, sociology, and I finished my study over there. After that, I went to the Tribune University. Um, then I went for the to with my best in mathematics as well. Then when I was doing my third year semester, and in that time, I was wondering to find some job because it was very hard to survive in the Kachman during that time. Even though my brother and sister, they didn't have any job. I even myself, I didn't have any, anything to find to do things. And my father, my mother, they cooking. They was their farmer, and they trying to make the farm and send the, send the money, send the food materials, you know, the cash to do the feeding everything like that. Then when I was searching for the job in that time, then I found a hospitality mart, which is in a pani ferry. It's now at a hotel mart. Then I meet one legend chef from Hong Kong. His name is Sandeep uh, Sivabhadri Kesi. Uh, he's one of my dear friends as well. Then I started to work there as a um, cooking and helping his store, something like that. It's still like I had to pay the rents, I had to survive, stuff like that. And the same time, he says to me, study the culinary arts. And he recommended me to go to Kate College. And his son, Sef Sandeep Kumar Chetri. Because I remember still that day, he put me on his bullet bike in the back. And he took to me the gate college and he was doing all the procedure for the administration or whatever. Then, yeah, I've been mean the gate college in 2007. Then, because then also there, there, there are lots of costs. Because I never, I didn't have that much amount to study the diploma in the arts. Then I met to Mr. Kim Laka, she of gate college. He's a very honest and part of this industry. And and from the college came sir and the Sandeep sir, they find me the to get some loan from the Sanima bank. And I got almost I'm not sure exactly what how much amount. It was uh, almost that for the in April for me it was that was a huge amount for me to pay myself. Then I got the amount, I got a loan from the Sanima bank, then got admission over there, then we are the only five students in a diploma culinary arts. Then, yeah, I finished my one and a half year course from there. After finishing my course, then I start the traditional hotel Kathmandu is intensive. Even that was for that intensive, also I have to pay myself to the company to work as a voluntary job, you know, to pay like that. It was kind of this, those things. And almost there was a six month intensive. I haven't done very good over there because I got a good support from the Indian Education Chef. Sylvester Gomes, he was over there at the moment, and the Nepali Sushi Pushuresh, 
iron spoiler shifram because they gave me the platform to go up in the front of the house that means the live station in the front of the cooking station like that then i learn lots of things from the radishan i after that i finished my internship internship over there then was i was wondering for the new job to find something too then i met a guy so walter i think is from this cosmic universe it is and he had one restaurant in our mall we visited the name was from his name the walters fine dining restaurant then yeah and the guy also he want to take the trial i give a 65 6 to 7 days trial in i get i mean i cook every day a couple of meals to try him chef and his wife then after a week we said this why you like it then i learned so many things you know, so this in was in week. kathmandu at that also in the kathmandu till that time yeah that was a good opportunity for me because walters when i joined the, my career in the industry as a as a cook as a head cook and i i got a chance to learn as well i earn some money to pay the my interest time survive myself no there was a good help from in that time and the same time i was looking to find to go abroad to find a better job and the same time i i there was a vacancy in the carbon post office by the every to state a man power agency then i i applied to there then i been there gave an interview almost there was to 200 more than 200 chefs and cooks was there and they need only five chefs from nepal and lucky i was in the top eight to uh, to, uh, to select it and after that there was a uh general manager and hr manager came to abu dhabi and they came for the final interview again i selected over there yeah then i started my journey from the abu dhabi as an aspiri in 2009 and there was also excited moment in that when i joined over there i went over there for the italian restaurant but when i been over there then i got a surprise from the chef sathis you want to put me in the indian restaurant because there was one of the fine dining indian restaurant because that is a big hotel five in the rooms hotel to be restaurant different lots of outlets you know it was a big big hotel uh in that pre opening time that was the best thing to learn the chefs who wanna learn and who wanna show them passion and and to the continue the or them job because when you when you work in the pre opening time because it's a good chance to learn basic things Yeah. Even all these steps through the goes goes to the like the the say to the consumer. Yeah, then we we opened the hotel in a couple of months. Again, got a I got a I, after six months I got a promotion to this and the whole entire team. I put thanks to Steve for them because they he saw me the way to work. He teach me you know so many things to the career path and the same time. I got a chance to meet with the two different Mr. Star Chef, Chef Patul Kocha and Chef Bhi Bhatia in the same place. Because if I was not okay, if it didn't, if it didn't choose me in that restaurant in Anga, maybe I haven't got a chance to work with them. Because that's I'm lucky. I have to say I was lucky. Then again, I learned from the old top Mr. Star Chefs through the cooking. Not only the Indian cooking, but there was a fusion of the Indian flavor, Indian spices, and the British style cooking, French style cooking. That was the best part to me. Learned the fusion cuisine as well. Uh, after a couple of years, then I moved to the JW Marriott Dubai. Uh, there was also I worked for two years. There is another story over there as well. Then I went over there banquet. I I gave a trial for the banquet chef, uh, but. After I give a trial, they select me as all the dining. That was also good for me because everything was whatever happened was good. And then I I tried to catch on the time. In I I I saw the my job. I did the my job very well at the time. Or whatever they give a task, I always complete the task on the time and a good manner. That's why. And after a couple of years from there, I moved to Hilton Caesars, Hilton Lavery Resort in the island. Sorry, yes. in the indian ocean sessions okay. it's a paradise it's a beautiful place to be over there 
and they also because the island was little bit isolated because you can't go anywhere from the island you have to go in the city a town you have to go through the boat one and a half two hours that means it's not possible to go in the city all the time and in there i started my career from the cold kitchen is a said i said the party but i went over there for the hot kitchen and then i after a couple of month open the cold kitchen then i moved to the hot kitchen from the hot kitchen was the main kitchen from there the educated chef and the sous chef they saw the my performance they then i and i was walking through the the stand of performance everything was in the kitchen you know like that and they moved me to the fine and italian restaurant Porto Velo because that was because the, there was also six different restaurant three was the fine dining the two was the normal now that, that was if they was uh, getting the lock you know got a chance to work in the another fine dining the italian then yeah then again there after a couple of years got a promotion then i again i was wondering the job and after a couple of years then i moved to the rich carlton chitable mario sorry this carlton almati is a sushi that was also was a pre opening hotel i i because that was the, one of the best place to work for me because i had a chitable mario jilt in bachelory radishan then another best chain hotel in the world was is the rich carlton then i got a chance to learn myself from the from the rich carlton everything whatever i want what i need for that reason i need to grow the my career that's why one of the my best place and the material goes always the risk carton that that's make the more dixon after that uh i from the uh, kazakhstan i came to the nepal in the time for the vacation in the same time there was a vacancy in a sangi hotel in kathmandu then i saw the vacancy i applied to that the hr manager i gm general manager they invited me for the interview and i had a done a couple of interview with the directors all the top management then they want to try my food then i test the food for them they they again they like the food because all these steps cause the trial my life was like the trial experience you know <laughs> doesn't come like somebody before me that means always go through them from the my hand and my mind i'm from the, my heart oh. then after food trial they select me they, they like they have everything then then i think also why i should not stay in nepal did this is the might be the best opportunity for me to stay in nepal and get the knowledge about nepalese cuisine nepalese hospitality and to to show the my skills in nepal as well yeah then i, I joined the year 2014 in almost 3 years 2017 mid of 2017 I work as an executive chef at the Hotel Sangila. In that time, I got a chance to recognize Nepal on an international level from the All Wide Hospitality Award. Uh, there was one of finalists myself, and there was another two hosts from the Europe. And that's because that is one of the biggest moment is the achievement in my career working as a, in a Hotel Sangila in. the nepal also has one of the youngest leader of english talent who can proof in the nepal and they can prove in the world wide yeah i that's why i have to give a big thanks to the mr kim lahai and the gate college who has guided me go through the that part to the france everything was like that you know because always all, all the step there has so many uh, people many chefs mentors they have the different roles in each step that's why I have to thankful to them whatever however they teach me how they show me the guidelines and they give me the guidelines I have tried to cast them by side and go through that after that uh, again I joined another hotel in Nepal hotel mystic mountain airport is a good chef new director that was the first pre opening hotel in Nepal for my for myself then there was around 80 to hotel and uh, this, now that is a four star hotel then I had a work in that hotel through the all the kitchen planning set up design hiring the staff not only in the my department even the whole so you were doing uh, all of that 
you were doing all yeah, that. Yeah, that. Because I tried to the uh, to help to the uh, managing director to assist him to, to select the right candidate for the right part. Then, yeah, then I, when I hotel was opening, start the boom was busy. You got lots of positive feedback from the local and international customers. And yeah, chairman was happy. All the team was happy. Yeah, there was another great moment to prove to myself as a to me in Nepal. After that, I came to uh, Australia, but I had a try before that. Uh, when I was in the Sunila, I had a try Australia, but, but I, I didn't expect the visa will come because it was already more than eight, nine months. Visa was not came and I joined the domestic mountain. But after I joined there a year, I got my visa, then I traveled Australia. Then again, in Australia, I, had a, I came in the net one business, one hotel, one of the big hotel. But I think I have to change the hotel from there to the another business. Then now I'm in, the, uh, in a fine night history in the Carl Seedwood, in the Philip Island, because this, this support for me to throw out to all the my benefits and the benefit as well, because they sponsor me for my permanent residency. Then that what I got in just a couple of years doesn't take much time. That means, yeah, I'm a thankful with Mark and Lila as well. That's how, how goes my career. And after I came in Australia, I think I have to do something from my next list. But I haven't forget what I started uh, from uh, what I started from Kathmandu to bring the international to bring the Nepalese kitchen in the international market. That's why I, I was thinking to join the masters, then join the master society and gastronomy own. Yeah, because I'm now I'm in a couple of Old tough organization, Mr. IACP, Wax, Australian Cooler Federation, Mr. Gastronomy, and uh, World Master Chefs, plus Nepal Chef Association and uh, Global Chef Federation. Yes, I'm just I'm just helping to shape how much I can. I'm I'm learning as well from the so many uh, different chef, different culture, even junior and senior, I'm still learning and keep moving. That's nice, that's nice, you know, your achievements have put Nepal on a global map, you know, it's made like, yeah. made us really proud. And, you, uh, yeah. and Chef, like talking about, I mean, uh, cooking, were you always very interested or was it like a stroke of luck you would say that, you know, okay, this happened by chance, right, you know, how you met the person and how the journey began? You, I was in a village that time because I was always interested to how the my grandmother, my mother, they cook the food for us. Then they when they was cooking, yeah, because when they was cooking the food for us, I was always going from the back and looking like that. I tried to okay. find out what they putting, they putting those, those things like that. I in, in the same time when I was uh, in a village, I was cooking. A meal from my family as well you know, at home. Uh, that is one one of the inspiration to learn the cook and and then how I want to go. But I, that was not a after that I did not get any chance to go through that because there was no anyone to guide me in that time in my place. You know, I, I even in my, in my family no one was started this kind of business and no one was started to work in this field in the culinary. You were the first person. In the hospital field. When I, yeah, when I, I'm the first person. When I came in Kathmandu, when I uh, started to work in the hospitality mart, and I meet to the uh, chef Shiva, then he explained me uh, regarding the chef, the cook, how it's supposed to be going be in the future. Then he said to me, my is, if you go to study the culinary arts from the Gate College, you might can have a better picture than what we have studying at the moment, because he's the one. Inspire, inspiration for me. Guy, who is my guidelines, you know, one of the first mentor. I want to say thanks for to again, Shiva Uncle. I want to say Uncle for him because he's my parents. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, why did you choose Australia out of all the places to. Uh, so, you settled there, right? Uh, normally, I almost going to be sitting down at the moment. Uh, what I choose means because I have had been. Uh, 
more than five, six countries before came to Australia. Well, I had you know, Europe, Europe, Europe region, Africa region, Middle East. Then I think I might have to choose to the Australia. But do you know why I think this? Because Australia has one of the fastest growing economy because it has, it has a good education and the respect for the labor, you know, how they paying and how the respect for the skill worker. Because that's the reason why I choose Australia. And the reason behind things, my I have to show the my family the world because when the before I before, when I didn't get my marriage, I didn't think I have to go Australia. I have to go abroad again. When I when I get married, when I was in the Sangila, when I got married at the same time, then the, after after the family discussion was like that, why well, should I go abroad again? Because Nepal doesn't have that much good future. Yeah, that is right. Nepal has a good future, but do you know why? Because the Nepal has a limited chefs who was working in Nepal. Because in that time, the whoever chef who started working in the Nepalese industry, they were, they don't leave the industry since long time. Yeah. And no one can replace that job. That means all the young talent from Nepal, they have to go outside. They have to go out to find the better job and the better opportunity. I mean, for myself, for me, I have to build myself to learn something new. Because Australia has international culinary market. Uh, I can learn latest cooking train from here. That's why I move here. Okay, what is your favorite cuisine? It's interesting because I had a, a work in the different cuisine. You know? yeah, <laughs> I had, so you I had work, work, work with the, almost all the kind of cuisine. Whatever I got, all the culture and all the cuisine. But especially my best is in the French cuisine, French Italian cuisine. Uh, but I started with those cuisine with the fusion cuisine because I, I, I didn't really realize that I in the own cuisine because when the new train coming off, there is a coming modern cuisine there. There is so many scope from the fusion food and the people the people have the same talk every every time. Same food, same taste, same food, but we can present with a different taste, different flavor. That's why nowadays, not nowadays, since uh, six, seven years, I started creating my own fusion recipe and fusion fusion. That's the words. People love it, and I get a positive feedback from the customers and the owners as well. So you've created your own uh, domain, right? Yeah, yeah, that does and... yeah, exactly. So, did you face any sort of hurdles in, you know, convincing, uh, you know, your family about your uh, career, that this is what I want to do? You faced hurdles, any sort of challenges? Uh, no, there, uh, there is a challenge to something at the moment, but I have my dream to do something, my step in the future, near future maybe, but I haven't decided yet where and what I'm going to do. But definitely, I do something excited things to the my family and we don't want to come to the in, in this culinary for the new generation that might be inspire for them as well what's that one technique that you know you would advise everybody to use while they're cooking because uh, there's maybe cooking techniques everybody can learn can teach the techniques the cooking is not that much hard to learn the main thing is the person who ever want to be a good chef, he has to be the good passion. And passion he need to have yeah, good work habit. And the discipline is one of the most important part of the career. That's why not only the techniques, the techniques can cook anyone because when, I, when they graduate from the certain, from the college, they know there's already certain cooking techniques. But the main things, they have to be, they have a passion and they have to do the work. Hard work. Absolutely. That's a good hard work can it. And they have to continue. Yeah. Right. So talking about uh, you know, we've seen a growing trend of food bloggers now. Have they had any impact on your work? Food bloggers. Yeah. Uh, nowadays we can see there is so many food bloggers, food presenters. Exactly. You know? And you can see you know, if you if if we see if we stay in a Facebook like in any social media, you can find hundreds of food bloggers. 
because they are doing one of such important part connecting you knowledge to the public right. what kind of food they can find the market i know what's the best dietary requirement they can have it i know what's kind of the things like the certain in a, in a nepal at the moment we start getting the so many different cuisine and so many uh uh, uh dietary requirement uh, if you see in a couple of years ago when that to find the chicken good to feel you know but now there are already so many restaurants they started to get to the menu because of the food blogger they asking the question they try to find the option there and they always counseling with the owner chefs there's a good point to there's a good idea and that's bring us to in a positive manner as well and sepals is starting come with a new idea and they become a creative and they become a productive which is help to the public to find the right place to have right has it helped you in any of the countries that you've been so far yeah uh, exactly i haven't get can you repeat please <laughs> help you means have, have they had an impact on you have they affected your work oh um, positive or negative or what even hacks there is a two way <laughs> i think i'm sure it's positive i'm sure because they're doing an amazing job there is there is a both part uh, in a life sometimes food blogger because some food blogger they always want to take the positive things and they want to infuse the positive uh things to the public and to the newcomers but some food blog they thinks he is a stupid you know because it will become sometimes mad because this when he start the creating it, it, the mind goes with so many things and he start to create and he start to put and he start to throw the so many, so many thing in one play but in me, my life i got a, so many supportive things from the other food bloggers all right okay so for you i mean you started pretty early in life you were determined okay this is what i want to do but if somebody maybe like suppose was 25 years of age or maybe 30 years of age and would want to start a career in this field you think is it too late to start or it's absolutely uh, fine that's because learning learning will never end you know in that life. means yeah if you want to start from the even 30 even for, after you become the 14 or 10 years you might be like the good chef you just when you start your career that doesn't stop that doesn't affect by you yes the things we need to focus what you're doing when you start once but you have to keep continue because you might going to be sometimes that might going to become so many obstacles or difficulties or you know or people might can talk about the negative things and that goes a negative impact in the mind but you have to be positive and you have to think positive and you have to act positive that means there's no any as bound is to become a chef because chefs is like that when you become the after even the 50 60 yeah, you're going to be the more professional because you got you had a more experience experience that means i don't think they are the only any age to start a career as a chef all right that's nice okay i can think about it if i want to <laughs> no definitely yeah <laughs> that, that, that's because you can see in um, all, uh, in nepal you can see uh, in north of nepal even india also because it, from the from our country that's not uh, that was the problem this is a deprived country and in so many families struggling financially and they need to uh, make a money to provide the good, good education to them children and the time and they going to school it is a 30 35 40 and learning not only cookery they learning some vocational skills and when they after done the six month vocational skill they can open own small business and they can own they can make some fun from that and they can provide a good education for their family and they can have a good life right. yeah so has there been any technique that you know you've not been able to master as of yet or some cuisine that you haven't tried your hands on the technique you should have the basic foundation is the most important part to become a cook or to become a chef uh i think that you're still learning right now i mean you haven't been able to master it we always have that thing right you know 
that the learning is never ending you know learn, that learning will never end because of, for, for myself i'm uh, i'm learning from my junior from even the student not right. only from the senior because the, nowadays the technology is built um is a bit like the new technology they find the better than us right and they are start the research and they they might already try themselves that that new trends new technology that means you have to respect for them also how they eat but that's also the part of learning and yeah you can learn from anyone and the master means definitely the way you have a good personal set you have the become a you after you to be 15 years on one you know one field that you become the master master on cooking master on your culinary but that means you're not going to be master in all the food right. all the techniques you should know the, all the basic techniques yes. and you should know the how to handle the leadership like the leadership is important things and the eye details what's going on around everything and you should know about the general knowledge about the all the preparation and cooking method how that going to be do that going to be done and you have to teach your junior and the main thing is food hygiene cleanliness yes. because here yeah, if you you know you can cook the brilliant food you, you know the, you make the best taste but the not only the taste matter for the food that that's a matter by from the eye first eat from the eye to eye that means the presentation of the food right the color food it has to be nice and colorful beyond that you have to follow the oil sanitizing procedure that means food hygiene as to the best you have to the implement in the, on the best way that you have to follow the standard cooking can learn by anyone they can copy and paste or main thing is human manner honesty display is important so if you were a chef where do you think you would be or how do you how would you see yourself where do you think you would be right now uh, i think and this interesting hard question no so never i have to say myself <laughs> never thought of it <laughs> because when i started my career you know, i didn't realize i'm going to be in this stage because i was thinking i might going to work in one maybe one restaurant or hotel maybe somewhere or then when a career is start in that's career uh, bring me in the new one step because that helped me to step the ladder goes up i i always keep learning i, I always excited to find something new going on what's going on and how did and the i keep learning from the uh, different people and different shapes and i also the main thing people inspire me when people when i start the my career was talking about how oh, he is going to study in, in my time when i started my career for 15 years the friends and family was think or oh, those think that's not a good you not supposed to be go to study the yeah, is a cook that's a man say you know but now they realize after i after i finished the uh, college then i started my career going going and started because the chef is not a making food because that's one of the important part things you can travel around the world and you can you can learn so many cultures from the, because when you go to the different country you can learn the culture they put that means always there is something you can learn from the different sector right. okay and uh, talking about the current pandemic what is your take on it how has this impacted your industry and how do you any any plans any thoughts everyone we are suffering from pandemic because not only us yeah because the hope this pandemic will bounce back soon because our economic shock in australia at the moment a uh, million of chefs they are jobless because i'm also uh, stood down means because my job is still here but is a uh, unpaid leave you know that means employee can't do anything because they don't have a the business is not running this yeah. business is not open they can't do anything but is still we getting some form some support from the government 
which is the good support at the moment still you can easily uh find you can easily survive over here but if you talk about the upward in, in if you talk about in nepal then this scenario is very hard because uh, so many the support because uh, it, it, um, because I have a talk with the many chefs when I haven't seen the uh, chefs and other people who are talking about the Nepal uh, industry. The people are not getting paid since okay. since even a couple of months and they have to pay rent and they have to feed themselves, the family. And it's very hard hard to survive at the moment. But I hope Hotel Association of Nepal or government, they might gonna do they might come with some package to support all level worker, not only for the business support. Business also they need the support. It's small business, they need the good support or they need the counseling from senior and government level. Yeah. Right. So, chef, you've had enormous experience with you know so many reputed hotels all over the world. Which has been like your best experience? I think Ritz Carlton that you mentioned is that so? Uh, because there was all the hotel has different history and different grade. All of all of them are was the great experience for me. Because when I started my career from Abu Dhabi as island, I think if I was not started in maybe in Abu Dhabi, maybe I'm not here. Maybe I'm not be here at the moment. That means that was the best part. Of it. That was the best thing place when I started my career. Yeah, but, yeah it, but if you compare in a great in the hotels, definitely Marriott is Carlton, they are the best brand in the whole and, and as well, Hilton as well. Yeah. All right. And um, I read one of your, uh, I, I came across one of your articles, which is about gastronomy, tourism, maybe the option of Nepal tourism industry, nationally and globally. Yeah. So could so you elaborate on very short, uh, I'm gonna go on this because in this because after this pandemic in Nepal or in a, any country, we might not get international tourists in our nation but yeah. they can't travel. Even they don't know if that border maybe border will open in after a couple of months, but still the people doesn't wanna travel around the world because this they they, they are scared, they're scared. That's, that's mean that means the Nepal government and related associates like the Nepal Tourism Board, Han, Revan, Shep Shushan, those kind of organizations, they need to come together and find the solution and make a plan to promote the local gastronomy. That means they have to promote the gastronomy tourism, how they can open in a region area, in a city wise, in a, in a, in a, inside the Nepal, you know. That means that's one of the important things they uh, they can play around and they can make a fun. They can make a um, small business. They can not even good. The mark they not can make a big profit. They have to think only for how they, how everyone can survive. But a small business is very hard to survive. I think the big business, whatever the big hotel, big college, big restaurant, the mark is going to be more bigger because after after this pandemic. When the small business industry and small colleagues we have, but they might going to be collapsed because they they are they might going to have still some loan in a bank. They have to pay back. They have to pay pay those everything. And they can't get a customer because they have to focus on the hygiene standard. Recently, Nepal Tourism Board uh, announced the uh, hygiene standard. How they how supposed to be? They have to work together. That means they need to make a, they need the money to do to do to do all those things. That's why they need the support from government. They, and they need counseling from senior and pioneer. How all can survive together and my you're gonna bounce my you're gonna bounce back soon. Hopefully yes. And even otherwise, I think you know hygiene is super important when it comes to your fooding habits and you know even even like restaurants in Nepal. To the hotels and restaurants I've been, the hygiene standard is pretty poor. I wouldn't say it's yeah, up to the right. mark. Absolutely right. Uh, because I had an idea study one article regarding food hygiene. Because also I mentioned over there, I, I mentioned the, how I feel and how I what I learned from my career journey. In Nepal, 
uh, is still not only in the restaurant. Might gonna be have in the big industry, food industry, food yeah. factory. You know, we can see the so many images, videos, uh, how they operating. For to control those things, government need to come with the proper standardized safety plan, and and they have to fund to train to all level staff and the business owner as well, because all the nephews they should acquire acquire. Of the food hygiene and food safety, uh, and the importance of why it is why it is important. I think After that certification that, is essential. Yeah, it's very it's very essential. But Nepal has uh, the 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 they have one plan since 1967. There is one act, food act, but they need to revise on that act and and come with them uh, come with industry standard. Uh, standard safety plan and there to monitor without compromising. That means right. not only any fines, uh, they don't think about this is my fine, that's like the standard is standard for everyone. That has to go, that has to be implemented. And might we're gonna have, that might be gonna help to grow to our industry as well. Talking about uh, starting a career in this field, any advice that you would want to give the requirements, the scope? Because after the pandemic, yeah. I'm sure you know, they're not going to be very positive about it. If I should be pursuing my career in tourism, travel, hospitality, looks very shaky. Yeah. Right? So yeah. So I really want to say to the new uh, coming youth and students because this is the time for them to utilize to study, to get a theoretical knowledge. When they this is the time to go stay the internet to find regarding all the eats or its ingredients. You know, not only cooking techniques, there's a lot of things regarding the ingredients, different ingredients. They they can learn so many things in the time. After a year, maybe not more than a year, maybe after five, six months, the industry will be open. And might they're gonna bounce back soon. That means whatever they they find knowledge. They have to grab now and they're gonna have a good opportunity because in Nepal we can see we don't have that much qualified uh, man or qualified skilled people in our industry still that means the new youth who are coming they have a good chance to go to industry I'm so the them knowledge and they, they can they, pro, they can build them career through the Nepal as well for the, uh, uh, if you see in the industrial market, but they can't go into the market right now. So many hotels and business are closes, but after a couple of years, definitely they will open back and they can go in the industrial market and they can start again career in an industrial level. So this you think is like the golden opportunity for them to really work on themselves, to hone their for, skills. This is really good time. Yeah, this is, I it's a different, so. you know, it's a different than the people. Some people have things, oh, this is the, my college is not on, and not, uh, then my, there's no need, I, I, don't, I don't need to go for an intent. That means they might be free, but they have to change their way of thinking. They have to utilize the, with the right things. This is really golden opportunity for this student and the new young youth, young chef, to get more knowledge from Internet, or uh, they can they, they, they can they, they can talk with the senior chefs or fine, or they, or they can join with the, any talk show. From anyone, they can get knowledge. Just right. need to utilize in the right way. Right. So, chef, any questions you have for us, or you would like to tell the people anything? Thank you so much for inviting me and especially I want to say to the, the chefs, we have, in, we have stood down, doesn't have a job at the moment because this is the time we spend with our family so because in our career journey, we haven't spent this much time with the family because in this time, uh, this is a good time to spend with the family because we didn't get that much find out how the family 
and who are the one who are the top, you know. And this is really, uh, we go with them hard and for the life. That's a really good time to know family very well. And I wanna say to the chefs, stay in keeping touch with the chefs, with the chef association, or organization, federation, whatever we have. We just need to keep in touch and communicate well. Definitely we'll bounce back soon and we will gonna go back to our old place. Because we're going to go back to our temple. Temple is our kitchen, you know, that exactly. definitely then everyone is excited to go on. Work go to go to work. Yeah, that means, yeah, stay calm, stay positive. And it's still, it's a time to learn. Maybe you can learn something. Keep learning. Yeah. Thank you. And I want to say thank for you inviting me. It was a pleasure, and, sir. Yeah, it's my pleasure as well, because I saw there's a couple of videos as well. How are you doing? I've been at Virat Nagar, there's a couple of people there. That was, that was interesting. I mean, yeah, that's how people influence in a good manner. And the people think about, oh, that's a good channel. And you should follow them. And now they can learn something from your channel. You know, that means Thank you're you. doing such a good job. Thank you, Chef. Thank you as well. Thank you.